Most people get interested in lucid dreaming for something called a uh, fantasy fulfillment. And that stuff like having sex with a celebrity, flying, having giant battles with robot armies, you know, anything the sort of imagination can come up with. It's a way that you can actually treat your dream like a video game. You can troll the dream character, you can choose where you go, what you do, if you wanna fly, you can decide to do that. If you wanna to go to a different dream, you can do that as well. One of the techniques on learning how to lucid dream is called a wake back to bed. You go to sleep for about five or six hours and then you wake up for about 20 minutes. And the idea is you're waking up right before the REM stage of sleep, which is where dreams occur, and you're staying awake for about those 20 to 30 minutes, trying to almost wake up your mind, but keep your body at rest. And so that when you go back to sleep, you go right into the REM stage, right into the dream world, and you still have some of that you know, waking consciousness so that you can be like, wait a second, this isn't my bedroom, it's, you know, you know, a, a mountain in the, you know, the middle of the country. We're dreaming. A reality check is really just you taking a moment and making sure whether you're in the dream state or usually the waking state like we are now. And it's as simple as asking the question, am I in a dream? We'll eventually ask the question in an actual dream and we'll be like, wait a second, Yes, I am in a dream, and now you're lucid. Lucid dreaming is like 99.9% .9 perfectly fine and safe. You know, the only times I would caution it is for some people who have been through some sort of very extreme trauma. A lot of therapists nowadays are utilizing lucid dreaming to help their patients with stuff that, such as PTSD, anxiety, depression, you know, and other forms of you know, traumatic experiences. One of my favorite things to do you know, as a lucid dreamer is when I'm in the dream state is ask for Dark Jared. It's usually just the either negative emotions or the parts of myself that I'm you know, perhaps suppressing or not addressing. And by asking this sort of quote, dark version of myself to appear, I can actually have this sort of dialogue with myself. You can do what you want in your dream. You know, no one should tell you otherwise, but just remember when you're interacting with the dream, you're ultimately interacting with a part of yourself.